Hello Balloon World, I'm Michael Floyd, your Balloon Twister, and this time I want to teach you how to make a cupcake. It only uses two balloons and it's pretty easy to make. Let me show you how. For this design you'll need two 260s. I'll be using a brown 260 for the cake part and a pink 260 for the frosting. Get whatever color you want to use for the cake, I'm using brown, and inflate it halfway. Pull that some air out and tie. Give it a squeeze and a stretch. We're going to start by making the circle part that's going to be the top ring. So figure out how big you want it to be. Mine's gonna be maybe about four inches long. So from here to here is about four inches. I want to make sure it's soft. Twist a large flower petal. Follow that up with a small bubble, maybe about an inch. Fold it over and pinch twist it by pinching it, pulling it and twisting it. So there we have the first ring of our cupcake. Now we want to make a small bubble, about an inch. And we're gonna do another small pinch twist. So another one inch bubble, fold it over, pinch it, pull it, twist it. Make sure you keep the balloon soft. Now we're gonna make the second ring for the bottom part of the cake. We're gonna make another ring, just like we did for the first one, but it's gonna be a little bit smaller. So you can see that one there, it's just a little bit smaller. Twist that one there. Into that pinch twist. So you should now have two rings with the bubble in the middle. Okay, now we want to twist a small bubble, followed by, you guessed it, a one-inch bubble pinch twist. So make a small one-inch bubble, fold it over, pinch it, pull it, twist it. All right, now I'm gonna take this part and make sure it's nice and soft and stretched out, because I'm gonna feed this through both of those. I'm gonna take it, pull it through, and I'm gonna do that until this pinch twist is here on the bottom. There we go. Round it out a little bit just by pushing the top part down, like that. There we go. You can see the pinch twist there on the bottom, and there shouldn't be much of a hole there. But there we go, we have the bottom part of our cupcake. Now it's time to do the frosting. Get your 260 out of whatever color frosting you want. I'm using pink. Inflate it halfway. Let's mount and tie. Give it a good squeeze and a stretch. We're gonna take the knot here, and we're gonna wrap it into this pinch twist here that we started with. Right there. Is this knot? There. Now we're gonna make a small bubble, maybe about half an inch. And now we're gonna make a very large flower petal. It should be bigger than the first one we did. Once again, make sure it's soft. So you can see that one there is definitely bigger than that. And this is to whatever size that you like it to be. The proportions are completely up to you. Everybody has a different idea of what a cupcake should look like. But I'm gonna take this part here and feed it through so I can see how big that is. That's looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna make another small bubble, just like I did there. I'm gonna make another flower petal, a little bit smaller than this one. I'm also gonna feed this part here through there. There we go. And you can already sort of see it come together. It's starting to look more and more like a cupcake now, isn't it? Now we're gonna do the top of this. With the rest of the pink, I'm gonna stretch it out, make sure it's soft. Do a longer section, maybe about an inch. I'm gonna do a large, small, a large, small, a small flower petal. Follow that up with a one-inch bubble pinch twist. One inch bubble, fold it over, pinch it, pull it, twist it. The rest of this I don't need so I can break it off, throw it away. And then now what I want to do is I want to take this part here, I want to pull it taunt and twist the seam. But I want that seam to be below this bubble. Because I'm going to wrap this pinch twist into that seam. And if this part is too long, if I twist it like, for example, up here, when I twist this bubble into there, it's gonna be like all askew. It's not gonna look very good. So you wanna twist this seam below this bubble. So pull it a little bit and then twist it. So you shouldn't even be able to see the seam unless you pull it out like that. But I'm gonna twist this seam here into that pinch twist. Now I'm gonna break the rest of this off. Throw the rest away. I'm gonna take that slack and just wrap it around a couple times to make sure it doesn't come undone. Now I'm gonna position that pinch twist underneath this top flower petal. 
There we go. Oh, now we just need to shape it a little bit. Try to round out those flower petals. But there we go, one two balloon cupcake. Only thing left are the sprinkles. You can use whatever color Sharpie you want to add the sprinkles. I'm going to be using purple. And if you want to use more than one color, go right ahead. And because sprinkles aren't organized, you just basically put little sprinkle lines everywhere all over the cupcake. But there we go, one two balloon cupcake. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, if you had fun, click that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I do balloon animal lessons on Monday. So if you don't want to miss a balloon animal lesson, make sure you subscribe. I'm Mike Floyd, your balloon twister. Remember, you can make anything out of balloons, even a cupcake.